Hi guys, today's video is all about the famous V10 hydraulic vane pump. Mike has flown in all the way from California to explain the advantages and versatility the V10 vane pump has over gear pumps. Take it away, Mike. All vane pumps are rated in 1200 RPMs. I'm not going to talk CCs, I'm going to talk gallonage. That's what I'm good at. They make basically V10 series and a V20 series. The V10 is probably a smaller one, which you can go from one gallon cartridge kit up to seven gallon cartridge. The V20, basically same mounting, same shafts. Only thing that's different is you go from four gallons to 12 or 13 gallons. V20 is more, more of a unique, you see on power steering, on the, like the big trucks out there on their highways. That's where you're going to see the V20s. But it's the same mounting. Same mounting, but the, bigger body. it's just a bigger body. Okay. Yeah. Right. Not much, but just a little bit bigger. This is a small package pump. Comes in seven different kinds of shafts. You can either get spline, keyed, taper keys. I just brought a couple here for an example. Most common ones, if, if belt pulley, you're going to use a key. If you're mounting into any kind of a gearbox or engine, you go with a spline shaft. This is if you want to put some kind of a hub on it or right, pulley or something. Wood, that'll uses a woodruff key. Yeah. Okay. All right. It just depends on what coupling you're using. Okay. But what's unique about it, you, the same pump, you can have six or seven different shafts in it. Right. Okay. When it comes to porting, Basically, you can go in a, in your code. Basically, you got a, what you call an A B C D. Okay. That's basically A, which is in line. That's B. That's C. That's D. So you can basically put it on, put it together the way you want, whatever's easier for you to to hose up in a piece of equipment. And that's the pressure discharge. Yep. And that's suction. Suction. Okay. Suction's always on the flange. Pressure's always on the on the uh, uh, rear cover. Okay. In some of these V10s, you can get what you call a priority end cover and a flow control end cover. Priority end cover basically just comes with a relief valve. They call it a hydrostat. Basically, you just got one more port on here that you got to dump the tank. So if you go up to a certain pressure, it basically just relieves, dumps. So it's got the like, relief internal. Yep. In this, yeah. But that's an option. That one yeah. doesn't have it. No, this is just a basic everyday one, like just standard in and out. You also have a flow control one, which you do see on your trucks out there. For instance, you need five gallons to work your steering. You're running at 600 RPMs. So you've got to double the flow because pumps, vein pumps are rated at 1200. If you're running at 600 RPMs, you need five gallons. You got to double that. To get that five gallons. Six, six. No, gallons. gallons. So you need a 10 gallon cartridge kit. But that flow control basically, once you get it up to that amount flow, the five gallons, it dumps it back to the suction side of the pump. Once right. you get up to 1200, 2800 RPMs, it'll uh, dump that flow. Either you can dump it externally or internally. Normally we like to do it externally back to tank. Okay. A lot of times what customers do too, the pump goes bad. This is the main part of your whole pump right here. This wear is your cam ring, your brains wear, rotors wear, they wear unless you get, if you get contamination in them. But what customers do basically is they buy a standard pump like this and use their end cover. The end cover hardly ever, ever goes bad. You got a little hydrostat in there, which I didn't bring along, sorry. You got a little hydrostat in there, you can just take apart. All it is is a pop in the spring. So what's the hydrostat do? It's like, it's a relief valve. Right. But in this, their terminology, they call it a hydrostat. Okay. So the hydrostat is for pressure, not for the flow. No, pressure, the flow correct. is the other. So what's the... The, the flow's got like a little flow, spot. it's got a spool in it. Right. Okay. And with the hydrostat too. So the difference between the vein pumps and say a gear pump, the gear pump is gallons per revolution or cubic inches per revolution or cc per revolution. This is... At 1,200 RPM, so many gallons per minute. Uh, the only thing that's different rating is piston pumps. Piston pumps are rated at 1,800. 
If they're a 10 gallon pump, they won't put up 10 gallons until they get to 1800. Let me just clarify something, Mike, that you're calling this a one gallon cartridge, right? Yes. All right, so this is one gallon per minute? Yes, at 1200. At 1200 RPM. Correct. And this is how you would size them? Yep. Right. Okay. So it's not Basically, the only difference from one gallon to seven gallons is the gallery gets bigger, your little like egg shape in here. Right. And it gets thicker. Okay, that makes sense. All right. And when you're doing, if you're going from a one gallon to a seven gallon, only thing that you got to replace besides the cartridge kit is you just need to get longer bolts. That's the only thing you got to do. Right. Now, is this design what we call, what they call a balance design? Or is it just one side is suction, one side is discharge? Or is it got you two can, suctions and two, so it's like a balance vein it's, it's It is a balance, yes. Okay, right. But if you always look on, every vein pump's got a half an arrow. Yep. I don't know if you guys knew that. All you gotta do is just look at that. Always put the shaft towards you, and you can just look at the rotation. This is a right, if I was like that, that's right hand. All right, so the shaft always points towards the half arrow side, is that what you say? Well, if, if the pump was put together like this, for instance. Sideways. Okay, sorry. If the pump was put together like this, you can look at it and tell you it's clockwise rotation. Okay. If you're ever out on a job site, customers still use the pump, all the information you need to see, you can look on the cam ring. If there's no tag on it, normally there's a number stamped on it. I can't see the one out here because I'm blind. There'll be a number stamped right here. All I want to know, all we need to know is the number, rotation, and shaft. Okay. And we can basically figure out exactly what you got. Okay, so if we wanted to change rotation, that's all you do. Right. The bigger vein pumps, like the 25. Seriously? Yep. Okay. That's all you do. The bigger vein pumps, like the 25, 35, and 45 VQs, you got to swap. Because these things, the, the veins are rounded. The bigger ones, they got like a slant to it. So you got to swap the rotor, veins, and the camera. So when you say routed, the leading edge is rounded? Is yes. that what you're saying? That rides up against your camera. Right, okay. okay. Don't so put the veins so, in so, backwards, they won't So work. they're directional, these veins are directional? Yep. On the bigger units? Yep. On this one, not? On the bigger ones, yes. Okay, so these are rounded. Yep. There's a flat face. But on the bigger units, you're saying there's a special, there's like a leading edge? Well, there's yeah. a, it's just like this, yeah. Yeah, okay, a leading edge. All right. Correct. That needs to be flipped as well. Okay. So the advantages. This one's a two gallon yeah. right here. So the advantages of vein pumps is quiet. Correct. Right? Yeah. Compared to a gear pump. Yeah. Very, very quiet. Maximum pressure? 3,000 psi. 3,000 psi. Okay. And maximum RPM? I didn't double check that. Okay. I double checked that. I want to say 2,500 RPMs, but I'd, I'd have to just double check that. It's been a while. Nothing in the book? No, not RPMs. If it goes, in fact, is it 1,200? 1,200, if it's a two gallons, 1,200 is two gallons, 2,400, four gallons. Right. So, so it's always critical to ask the customer what RPMs we want to run it, run it at. Parts are carry all the parts in stock. All right, so if we want to just, what, what's this part called? Pressure plate. If we want to adjust the pressure plate, is that something we yep. can get? Yeah. But if you if that's bad, I guarantee you that's bad. Okay. Because that right. rides, that rides just like that. And if that's bad, if you, got, if you get any kind of contamination in here, first thing it's going to do is smear on here, there, and here. Right, okay. Is that a Viton O-ring, is that standard? Yeah, we, stuck, we stick Viton O-rings and seals and all the pumps. Okay. We carry a B in a seal. Also carry by time. A Buna, okay. Buna. Buna. Yeah. Which is a lower grade than by time. Correct. correct. Okay. This is this is just better for heat. Yeah. Yeah. So we just everybody knew that? If you see this color O ring, it means elevated temperature, much higher temperatures. It's brown. Instead of the black one. Yeah. Alright. 
this means premium. <laughs> They're good little pumps, you know. Be honest with you, every time I get a gear pump, I cross it over to the main pump. Okay. Good. I think the advantage, one of the better advantages of these to a gear pump is that it's actually got a bearing in there. Most of the gear pumps don't really have a bearing, do they? So they can, you know, these are designed to take a pulley. You know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Radial load. Yeah. Yeah. So they'd be better if people want to actually drive them with a pulley Correct. or a belt. Yeah. Well, that's how they run them or on the trucks. Yeah, on the trucks, they yeah. got a, a pulley on them. A pulley, or they, they've got a, a small gear which runs inside a bigger gear on a timing cover. So anything that's, like that. That's where they use a shaft like that. Yeah. Anything like that will be better with, because this has got an internal bearing, so it'll, it'll take those tensions yeah, mm -hmm. in that. Whereas gear pumps have got bearings. They've got, to, they've got to generate this. Yeah, yeah, they need bushings. to generate pressure before they start to lubricate. Whereas this has got, yeah, it's got that support bearing which can take that load. So the advantages of this over a gear pump, other than noise, I like the idea smooth, that it's smooth the flow. Me smooth. personally, vein pumps always quieter. Plus, I always think you know if it's, it's always re, uh, rebuildable when it wears out. Yeah. If it's contaminated, that's a different story. But if it's just normal use, throw a new cartridge kit in it. If you wanna, if you size up an application wrong, you can just bring it back in, put a different cartridge kit in it too. 